public. We will change this up later. This is just for examples right now. It's not particularly interesting. Um, but I can say, just for my sanity, I like to put all my variables at the top and then my um, functions afterwards. So I'm going to make a public function, and I'll call this uh, void work. What does void mean? More than it's not going to return value. And then you can set what you your password equals zero return. So this function, which returns nothing, right? It says return when there's no no value, it's just return, can access secret password. Secret password is private, but everything that's inside of place can access its own variable. It's when you instantiate it, you try to access it that you get a problem. If I say swamp dot secret password, I can't access it. So if I want to change the value of secret password, what do I do? Go up to... If I want to, if I want to set the, the value of secret password to zero, I can just call that work function. Huh. And that's not going to give me any error. It's not going to display anything since I haven't really done anything yet. But this method, this function, can affect those internal private data. And because that function is public, I can call that function. Even if I can't access this variable, I can access functions which can access that variable. Does everyone follow that? Yes. Oftentimes, when you have a variable that you want to be read only, you might make a function that still only there to display. So if I want to, let's do a better example. This is really lame right now. Um, let's set this to private. <laughs> let's say that enter text and position are private. That way no one else could ever modify them. But I want to read that information. I can make a public function to just export, to just display this, to return that string data. So if I'm returning string data, what uh, data type can my function be? String, because that's what it's going to return. So I'll call the string display text. And all it's going to do is return the value of intro text. Now, intro text is private, but this function is public. So if I say, see out, swap dot display text. I guess entry text starts this and it'll give it a value. Equals ta-da. Oh, and I need to then update it. So it returns, it displays ta-da. Because at the point that I print out text, which is right here, Checks whatever this is. It says, I found swamp to display text. Let me go run this code. So it freezes. It freezes this and it says, I have to go finish your function first. Go to the function. Freeze this function and first. Enter text to cut off, then return enter text. Or return to here that says, okay, unfreeze, I have a value for you. It's called enter, it's this cut off value. You print that out. So even though enter text is private, we can still return it with a public function. This will prevent anyone from changing its value, but being able to read it. Does everyone understand? Question, yes? So it's not by making it cut out, you already changed the value. Well, the function changes it. I can't, I couldn't do something like this. I couldn't say swamp dot enter text equals oh, okay. thing. So oftentimes you will write a getter and a setter, which are just functions that either return the value or let you change the value. Getter or setter functions that let you get the value. The reason why you make that, that setting, that, that uh, changing the value of function, is because you just might have more you want that class to do. For example, um, let's say we were writing a function. Um, we maybe have a 
student and the student has a grade. I'll make an example of that real quick. So it can be class, student. Right? So it's just like it's stuck so far. Privately, it'll have its own grade. So I can't actually grade myself. But there's a public function. The public function will set the grade. And we'll show you why in just a second. Say, yeah. So say every time we change the grade for a student, we want to also show what that letter grade is. So if I just set grade myself, this wouldn't change on its own. But what if I want every time you set the decimal value, it will automatically update the letter grade? Wouldn't that be convenient? Yeah, it would be very convenient. It would be very convenient to type in the number and type in the letter for you. Have to work. It's done. You don't have to worry about it. So I'll make a public function. I'll call it. Um, so I'm doing my set void set grade. Now in parentheses, now void is not returning anything. In the parentheses here, I can say this function requires input. So if I define a variable here, I can use that. So this takes input of float with the name percent. It's then going to take the value of grade and equal that to the input. Then we can do an if statement, right? If percent is greater than, what is it, 92.9? Let's just say greater than or equal to 93. Letter grade equals an A. Here we go. Is the student in private? I'll make a return. Um, star get grade. Get the letter grade. Yep. Return letter grade. All right, here's my example for a grade. Student. Let's call it student one or student one. Do one dot set grade to a ninety four, then in display do one dot get letter grade. And freeze and input. I got A. Uh, it be 80 in that sense. 85 will work. So the 84 is the 80. It's the 80. Oh, this for an A plus. Is that what I did? Oh, that's for an A minus. That's for an A minus. Anyway, like, if I did this, we'll just get it. Forget minus and pluses. I just want all A's all B's. It's 90 oh, up? 90, 80. 90 is usually 90, yeah. Okay. 80 is B. Thank you. When I went to school in Virginia, it was, it was too hard for uh, just to have that still stuck in my brain. Hmm. <laughs> Um, and 92 would be damn. 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 Yeah. That's the rating system in Virginia. Fuck that. I never would have made out of high school. <laughs> Forever burnt into my brain. Right, second one's in. In Catholic California. In Catholic California. Why is it twice? Why not? Is that greater or less? Set 
Why? Which is in just this in proper statement. It says, ah, give an if statement for the trade of or trade of the income of seven means. Well, I've been told that the output that if x is equal to two, do nothing. <laughs> when it's all and when all this is over, just take the letter grade of C. Huh. There's nothing there's no error. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not what I wanted it to do. <clears throat> but seeing a, a semicolon at the end of the if statement, it doesn't read that it's incorrect. It just says, I found a statement. Um, I think that's the end of the day. Yeah. Um, we don't have any questions right now.